Hi guys, welcome to HSC Chemistry and the final video in the Acidic Environment series. Uh, in this one we're just going to quickly cover some of the uses of esters. Up till now we've had a bit of a look at what esters are, the reaction between an uh, alcohol and an organic acid and the formation of the ester as a consequence of that. The fact that we use refluxing in order to produce the ester um, primarily to increase the reaction rate and maintain safety uh, as well as increasing yield. The reason we produce esters is because they have a pleasant and fruity aroma and a lot of esters are used for artificial flavorings or also as perfumes. When you've made the esters you'll know that they have a very distinctive um, smell and some of those smells are actually changed as a consequence of the um, or, or are very different from the starting uh, aromas of the either alcohol or particularly the acids from which they are formed. Now we know that flavor is a combination of both taste and odor and the esters themselves can contribute naturally to this. Um, but if we can identify a particular ester that can be um, synthesized, then it means we can mimic that odor and hence mimic that taste. We can trick our brains effectively into thinking that we're eating the same thing. So a lot of um, artificial um, flavors are produced as a consequence of esters. So it's worth having a look at a few different um, packaging now, the next time you eat a packet of lollies or something like that, to see uh, on the side if you can actually recognize any of the names of the esters. Remember they'll be an alkyl alkanoate. Um, so here are a couple of examples for you. Um, Nail polish remover has been replaced by an ester called ethyl ethanoate. Now, if we wanted to draw that, it's one of those ones that's kind of easy to draw because um, there's two carbons on either side. Uh, one of those, of course, is going to the double bonded oxygen. So that's where the acid will have come from. And then on the other side is obviously where the um, ethanol, uh, which was the starting alcohol, has come from. So this would be ethyl ethanoate. And it has replaced acetone as um, the primary ingredient in nail polish remover. So you can actually have a look at that and you'll know that that also has a fairly distinctive smell. But we also use um, some of the larger molecular weight esters in the plastics industry. And I'm sure you've heard of the term polyester. And polyester, obviously, as the name suggests, is a long chain of uh, polymers based on uh, esters being um, uh, combined together in the poly polymerization process. Now just a couple of examples for you to uh, sort of keep track of. Um, it's not critical that you remember any specifics in this case, but obviously the quality of your responses is improved if you can actually identify some specific examples. So in each of these cases too, when you're looking through them, think about the two um, reactants that have helped to create this. So apple flavoring, um, if we think, uh, if we notice that the main ester present in apple flavoring is methyl butanoate, that's telling you methanol was the alcohol and butanoic acid or butyric acid was the acid from which this ester was formed. Likewise, orange flavoring comes from octanol, probably one all, and also ethanoic acid. So each time you look at these esters now you should be able to see not only the name and where it comes from, how you might draw that structure, but also how you might expand your understanding to think about, okay, if I've got raspberry, that's going to be um, butanol and ethanoic acid as the two reactants that have combined together to form that particular flavoring. Um, this is the end of our discussion of esters and of course, along with our, the end of the discussion of esters, the end of the acidic environment um, topic. So it's important now to go back through the booklet, um, fill in all of the spaces that you have um, left blank and make sure that that booklet is completely up to date. Um, and we'll make sure that we've got that um, checked for you by the end of the first week, which would be next week. Thanks for watching.